What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be a review of the Real Housewives of Potomac. Get my microphone over here. Of Potomac, uh, season five, episode, what are we on? Episode six. So, this episode was kind of boring. Like, it really didn't give me a whole lot. We started off where we left off with the ladies arguing and yelling at each other. You know, Wendy talking about she got four degrees and calling Ashley broke and you know Robin was like but Ashley you know Michael's rich and she was like well, I didn't call Michael broke I called Ashley broke well they married so fuck it her money his money shit I don't care um I don't care they still complaining about not having reception on their phone and the next morning they get up um, well later on that night we have Ashley and I mean, uh, Candace and Wendy, you know, they're talking or whatever. And, um, I guess I just don't care. The, the bottom line is Wendy was upset because she wanted to bring her baby and Ashley got to bring her baby and she had a lot of displaced anger and she was taking it out on Ashley. It wasn't Ashley's fault. It was nobody's fault. You should open your mouth and say, hey, I don't think my daughter is ready to be away from me. Can I come and bring my nanny? And Monique would have said yes, and then life would have went on. But Candace tried to tell Wendy she was doing too much, and I can appreciate that, Candace, because I know Wendy is your friend. But Candace was trying to be very politically correct, but she told Wendy you was doing a little too much. So the next morning, um, you know, the ladies are having breakfast, and, they, and, and Giselle and Monique end up having a pancake a pancake cook-off, you know, because Monique was saying her pancakes are the best, and Karen was like, my pancakes are the best, and Karen said, listen, my pancakes may not look, as, they may not be as aesthetically pleasing, but it tastes good. Monique's thing was, well, my pancakes are perfectly round, and they taste good. So they had like a whole, you know, um, cook-off or whatever, and they had a whole point system, and it was fun, and it was cute, and at the end, I think overall, um, Monique won overall, but Karen won a couple of categories. It was fun. I feel like the ladies had a good time with it. Then, um, they went fishing. And, you know, fishing isn't everybody's cup of tea. Fish is not my cup of tea. I would have just been sitting on the dock enjoying the nice breeze. I probably wouldn't have been participating in the hooking and the... I, I don't care. Um, Monique went out on the water. They had, like, little canoes and, like, little paddle. Not, it's like, a, I guess, a cross between a canoe and a paddle boat. And so they did that. And, of course, these ladies are want to be bougie. So, of course, they had to complain about that. And, well, can we just, and Karen, I mean, not Karen, Giselle. Well, can we just go sit by the pool? Why we got to be outside? I don't know why we're here. Why are we doing this? And so they just was complain, complain, complain. Um, then they came back from fishing and they were waiting for the food. They were hungry. The food got delivered. And they sitting there eating. And everybody's talking about how bored they are. I was like. Why y'all can't just sit around and enjoy nature? Why it gotta be so much? Um, Giselle had a conversation with Wendy, and Giselle was like, you know, I, and again, I thought this was a great moment, because Giselle was like, listen, I just want to understand where Wendy's coming from. I'm still trying to get to know her. She is my soror, so I just kind of want to see where she's coming from and want to understand where all that anger was coming from the night before, because, like, you know, she was coming for Ashley again, misplaced anger. So Wendy explained to Giselle about her situation with her daughter and that, you know, basically, if I had known, I could, I just, I'm just mad I can't bring my baby. That's what it boils down to. And Giselle was like, well, that's understandable, but basically, you taking out your anger on the wrong person. Like, that's not, that's not Ashley's fault. Like, it's not, she didn't do it, you know. Um, so that was a good moment that they had, you know, a little conversation or whatever. Uh, then while they were on the dock, Wendy did have a conversation with Ashley. And I don't know why is it so hard for people to just apologize. Why can't you say, you know what? I was tripping last night. I was doing a little too much. Please accept my apology. Why is that so freaking hard for people to do? And that's all she had to say was, listen, I was doing a little too much. So, she told Ashley, you know, I was a little extra last night. I'm sorry. My tone was off. It was inappropriate. And Ashley was like, so is this an apology? And so, Ashley apologized for going back and forth. Because, again, Ashley, Ashley was giving too. Ashley was throwing stuff out there too. So, she wasn't no innocent in it. 
But then they ended up having a moment, and Wendy got to crying because she was talking about her daughter being the NICU and how she misses her daughter. And Ashley was like, hey, I get it. You know, I went through, um, you know, I'm still dealing with some postpartum. I'm, I'm trying to fig- get, get back to me and figuring out where I am. So they had a, a moment, and I thought it was great. You know, I thought it was a good moment, and they apologized, and they cried, and they moved on. And that's great. Karen's still on the, on the sideline, side-eyeing Wendy. And Wendy said that she figured out Karen. She said, you know, I don't think Karen is a bad person. I just think she's safe. Well, I mean, I mean, she's not all the way wrong. Um, and what I mean by that is Karen, Karen puts on her little airs, you know. So anyway, they're sitting around eating and they're all talking about how bored they are. And Giselle makes up a game that they're going to have a pageant between Ashley and Candace. You know, both of them are pageant girls. And you could definitely see that they were both pageant girls. Like, I mean, they 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 did a good job. I mean, it was fun. It was entertaining. It was it was cute. You know, um, Ashley's talent was twerking. I, I, I really wish I knew what her talent was in the pageant. Because she actually won Miss DC. So she had to have done something. Candace, I, I know it wasn't singing. At least I hope it wasn't singing. Because I would like to know who the competition was if, if it was singing. Anyway, and of course, Candace sang, child. She sang happy birthday to Monique because, you know, this was Monique's birthday trip. Um, and it was fun. Again, I think it was fun. So then the ladies went back to go get dressed now what for dinner. So while they're getting dressed for dinner, Candace gets a text message from her friend. And this is what they've been building us up for three weeks. They waited to the last five minutes of the episode. But okay. So she gets a text from her friend who works at a, a script club. It was probably stadium. Anyway, and Michael was at the script club trying to get the scrippers to go back to his hotel room and bragging about how he has a boyfriend and a wife. And the friend sent a picture of Michael from the strip club just to be like, here he was at the club. Now, I actually knew that Michael had gone out because we saw her call him and he said he had gone out and maybe he had overdid it a little bit, you know. So she knew he had gone out. Um, of course, I'm sure she didn't know everything. So Ashley was like, listen, I don't want this. Me, me, I mean, um, um, Candace. Candace was like, me and Ashley just got cool again. I don't want this. I don't want this information. I don't want this on me. You know, I've had enough drama with the Darbies, and I'm really not trying to do that. But at the same time, I can't unsee it. I can't I can't not see what I saw. And so she goes to Karen. And at first I was like, now you and Karen just made up your damn self. Why are you going to Karen? But I understand because Karen has a good relationship with Ashley. Um, Because, you know, we know Karen can be messy as hell. I mean, I keep saying Karen, Giselle, Giselle, Giselle. We know Giselle can be messy as hell, but... And this one, Giselle was like, well, listen, we have to tell her, like, you can't, you might not want to know this information, but you know it. You can't unknow it. And you got to let her know. First of all, you need to let her know because production knows that you know. Because they filmed it and you even had, they showed us, they showed us have a conversation with you saying, can you make sure you blur out my friend's name on the text? So that's number one, you got to tell her because you know they're going to air it. Number two even though y'all are not the best of friends, in that situation, in that circle, you're sitting on that information, you really do need to let her know what's going on. Whether it's true or false, you need to let her know what's being said. So they end up going out to dinner, and they are dressed like they're going to Morton's, and they really ended up at Rod and Reel. You know what I'm saying? They ordered them some crabs, honey. Now, you know, you listen, listen. And it's a D.C. thing or Maryland, Virginia thing. You get you some crabs, honey. You have yourself a good old time with your crabs. And, um, they were talking about that mustard. Actually, don't feel so bad, honey, because my mom, listen, my mama said the same thing. They told me when I was a kid that it was mustard, too. But somebody else hit me with the game that it wasn't mustard, it was poop. Now, I know people who eat it. My aunt, my great aunt, she's passed away now. But baby, my great aunt used to tear that up. She would, I mean, honey, she would move, put it aside, and she would dip her meat in the mustard. So don't feel too bad, Ashley, that she was eating it, that your mama told you it was mustard. That's probably what somebody told her. 
She wasn't trying to trick you. That's just what they thought it was. I mean, that's what it is. You know, it was mustard. So, um, but while they're at dinner, of course, every time a question comes up, they're giving each other the look. Uh, uh, Giselle and and um, Candace are giving each other the look like, oh, shit. Because, you know, they went around the table and Monique was talking about how she was a little stressed out, how some of the things with Chris or whatever, because we saw her get irritated with Chris early on in the episode because she wanted him to cook on the grill, but he was like, he ain't going to have time to cook on the grill. He's just going to get it catered. And she was a little irritated by that, which I don't care. Like, to me, those are the kinds of things, like, don't sweat the small stuff. If, if y'all still going to eat, why you worry? But okay. Um, but I understand it was her birthday weekend, and I guess she wanted things a certain way, so it's whatever. Then we had, um, um, Karen talking about her and her husband again, which I can't. I just, I, I just, I can't. Then we had, um, uh, Robin talking about Juan. You know, I mean, everybody running around the table. So, of course, it was natural for them to ask about Michael. It wasn't like it was out of the way for Monique to be like, so how was Michael? And Ashley was like, oh, yeah, Michael's cool. You know, he went out last night with the guys. Might have overdid it a little bit. They went to the MGM. And this is that and the other. So, you know, that's where it ended, y'all. Oh, yeah, and Giselle was shady again when they were doing the pageant thing. She gonna ask Ashley about having an abnormally large forehead. But she flipped that shit just like she came for Candace's height. She flipped that shit. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much what it was, y'all. This episode ain't give me a whole lot. You made me wait all the way to the last five minutes to get to the juiciest detail. So now we gotta wait till next week to see them actually tell... Ashley about what happened and then see what happens after that. Y'all playing games, Potomac. Y'all playing games. That's some wee TV shit y'all just did. That y'all hyped it up for two weeks and then made us wait to the last five minutes and then still we gotta wait till next week. You playing games. Anyway, that's all I got. Talk to y'all later. Peace.